world title, man. The world title. They're not, the reason why we already called out Lomachenko and we said all those things and they're not going to make the fight happen. They want to make the fight bigger. You know, uh, they think that Teofimo or whatever it is needs more fights to make the fight that bigger. But honestly, people are already ready for it. Um, so we're looking forward to the IBF, Richard Coleman, mm -hmm. or the WBC title. So, but one of those we have, we're going to have on the line come July of this year. You, you, you told me December and that was it, 135. So. Yeah, uh, this this was this this weight is really um, it's really annoying. You know, mm. my body's growing, my body's growing. So, you know, um, I've been trying to hold it. I've been trying to hold it. You know, and um, Bob, let's see what happens. Bob, like I said, Bob said the Super Bowl. Can you make it that long? No, no. I don't even think I can make it to December. To be honest, after when I did the weigh-ins and everything, I felt it. I was like, my body don't want to do it. Don't want to cooperate. I'm not gonna go against it. Cause if not, if I go against my body, I'm gonna end up hurting myself. So you know? what, what, what are you gonna do to Lomachenko? What do you say to him? Uh, let's make the fight happen. When? I, I'll for try you, for you. When? When is it? Like I said, I'll do July. We can make the fight happen now, but they're not gonna make the fight happen anytime soon. So they're gonna wait. They want to do. Um, Richard Comey. And the WBC title, Mike is not going back down to 135, so uh, the WBC title with Luke Campbell probably here in uh, Madison Square Garden back again in July. So July could be me and Richard Comey. He said he's coming back in July. We can make that fight happen. Hopefully we can do it. Lose the Bella and everything. Um, but the thing is, guys, is like, it's, I've tried. I really tried. I've tried to go out my way. And honestly, I mean, I think I did a little too much trying to go out my way. <laughs> because no matter what we try to do, the thing that you guys don't understand is that these guys don't want to fight us. Mm -hmm. They'd rather fight someone else. Mm -hmm. These guys, are Loma. Yeah. I don't know. Y'all think I'm about gonna say it, it though. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> the whole I've thing, covered, man. I cover you since you had three fights, bro. Come yeah, the, the whole thing, man. And so you know, we're we're there. You know, the whole thing is that um, th tonight was tonight. This guy was just picking his shots. Tonight, this guy was just. Finding him, trying to keep his distance away from us. Every time we were throwing punches, he was pooped and he would just keep on the clothes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's kind of what made it a little annoying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And because that's how European fighters are. Yeah, that's how you're, they're very fighters. defensive, but sooner or later you break them down. I had to find my distance a little more with him, keep it calm. I was doing the shoulder roll, he wasn't really doing nothing. I started walking him down and he seen that. You know, he tried, you know, and um, it didn't work. You know, so I was picking my shots. And right there, right hand to the body. That's where. Yeah. At what point in the fight did you feel that if he just opened up, it was only a matter of time before he stopped? Uh, after like the second, third round, I felt him like every time I was throwing, if I threw a right hand or something, he was like freezing. So I knew that my father was like, my father was, he was my coach. He was telling me like, this guy's done already. Like, wipe him out. This is the. He was reminding me what round we were in because I told him that this, he wasn't going past six rounds. Is there a part of you that wants to get out with these guys? Like, no, 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 no. Uh, why you think people love Mike Tyson? Went in there, mm -hmm. saw, and conquered. Mm -hmm. Knocked everybody out. That's what people want to see. And you sparred rounds anyway. To be no, yeah, I sparred rounds. Um, if you look back, look at my corner. I was getting up before the 10 second bell, getting in. I was already in shape. I've been in shape. The whole thing is just, we got to fix a couple things in camp, personally. Not even strength training or anything, just personally with the team. That's the only thing we gotta fix up, and we'll be more than ready for July. Most you know? Like I said, though, it wasn't the best perform. It wasn't the best performance, and it wasn't the best uh, camp. But we still came out victorious. What did you like about it? You know what, though, it's true though. Styles big fight. So when you fight someone like that, that's very on the defensive end, it, it could be annoying. So it's, um, I felt like I was uh, I was a little anxious. I had to calm it down a little bit. My father was telling me to slow it down. You'll get him. You know, creep in a little bit, step in a little bit, create that, uh, close that gap. So that's what we ended up doing. And I was touching the body all day, easily. And I knew that one of them was going to end up stopping me. Who's the first person from KO? Are you and him in a little competition? Who did you get the uh, IG highlights? My boy Raleigh. Shout out to Raleigh. Congratulations. I just found out right now for you. Um, <laughs> Raleigh, man, that's what he does. Sign up for KOs. And he told me, he called me, he FaceTimed me uh, while he was getting ready, I was getting ready. And uh, so I was like, Time to sign up for KO. Tio, do you want to send a message to uh, Richard Comey at this moment? Richard Comey, let's make the fight happen, man. Everybody wants to see it. You'll make big money. Trust me. Was the signing person tonight with Tio Fimo Lopez tonight or what? Um, I thought Crawford was going to steal the show, but I, I didn't, because I thought you know he was going to drop him already at the end, like finish him, but I don't was know what you happened. Though? Was it you, though? Huh? Was it you, though? Yeah, I think, uh, I don't know. You guys tell me. 
I think uh, we, we, we stole the show. Emo, yeah. you get the best All the champions, world champions, and we're going to work our way again up there. Jose Ramirez, all those guys. You know, WBC is pushing, man. WBC wants two female to represent their belt, and they, they, they want to make that, that first fight happen. So, you know, the whole thing is I want to collect something at 35. Got to collect something. I've been at this way for five, six years. I need to collect something, man. I always do, and even in the amateurs I did. You know, so I gotta go. I gotta go back. I gotta go big and go home. You know, so I'm trying to go big. Yeah, honestly, it'd be Richard Cole. It could be any of those guys.